So what's one of the simplest little habits that throwers create all the time that's absolutely screwing them up, causing fouls? Are you doing this? We're gonna talk about it in this video, so check it out. Everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Airtay Throws Nation and in today's video what we're going to talk about is a simple thing that a lot of throwers whether they're young or older more advanced throwers get in the habit of and that is looking at the throw at the point or after release now and what I'm talking about specifically is we don't want to look at that throw too early and remember we're assuming that you're understanding how the throw works we have the six pillars in that we talk about in the throwing chain reaction again when you watch these videos if you're new to these videos and you don't understand what we're referring to in the six pillars grab the link in the description we have our free rotational throws TCR six pillar mini course and our glide TCR six pillar mini course so check those out one of the things that we're doing is we're trying to get our athletes as they come around heads gonna kind of now stay with the chest and what you tend to see with so many throwers is they hit it they look and they start looking and so while they're trying to regain control at, at the point of their reverse they're looking at the throw and it's continuing their momentum out of the ring so many times what you're seeing with a lot of young, a lot of throwers you'll see that I have some of my youth and high school athletes and what they'll do is they'll hit that throw and then they're coming around and they're looking at it so rather than getting themselves here everything's nice and clean regaining control and then looking at the throw they're trying to look at it as they're gaining control so you'd be surprised how many people get into this habit and then they wonder why damn I can't really hold the throw clean because they're so used to hitting and doing this while they're still regaining control and that's gonna pull your momentum and pull you outside the circle so it's a really simple thing these are some of those detail things that you can add even if you don't understand the throw and you're still new and you're off balance and that's what we again the mission here with our site is to provide you good solid usable tips to keep you on the right track to have you focusing on the right things and for those of you that really want to dig deep that's what the throwing chain reaction systems about and that's what it's helping for coaches and throwers want to elevate the sport want to get more guys to reach their potential Potential. Simple tip today, don't look at the throw. Make sure you regain control before looking at the throw. You can be moving around while that's happening, but you don't want to be hitting your reverse and actually looking at it, which pulls you out of the circle. All right, guys, so thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. Comment below on anything you'd like to see, and we will see you on the next video. One of the things we talk about is when we're here and we start our pillar one, two, three, four, five, what you're gonna notice is 